West Virginia University's Team Mountaineers is proud to present our newest rover Daedalus and our drone Icarus. This year's wheel legs, WEGS, feature a carbon fiber and Kevlar composite footer on an aluminum spoked wheel hub. The 24 inch diameter WEGS facilitate the traversal of large obstacles at speed while the footer shape and TPU tread absorb impact and minimize vertical displacement. Each WEG features a single foldable footer allowing the rover to fit within size constraints while maximizing wheelbase dimensions. Daedalus's split body, riveted sheet metal chassis, utilizes a roll bearing mechanism to maintain ground contact, enabling stable traversal over rugged terrain. The composite mass stands just under three meters high at maximum extension, while maintaining the capability to collapse down within size constraints by passing through the rear chassis. The modular front chassis offers flexibility to accommodate different payloads. The first payload is used for delivery and equipment servicing in conjunction with the manipulator. Additional autonomy components are installed within this payload to be used for the autonomy mission. This payload is replaced with a separate secondary payload for the science mission. Daedalus contains three custom printed circuit boards, a payload PCB to manage DC motors and read analog inputs, a ham video transmitter to transmit analog video, and a power distribution board to regulate voltages. This system is powered by two 40-volt batteries that can be swapped without interrupting rover operations. Daedalus operates over a dual communication system, utilizing the 2.4 GHz ISM band as well as the 70cm ham band. The main comm system excels at ensuring high data rate line of sight transmission, while the secondary system sends control signals and analog video independently for non-line of sight operations. Daedalus is equipped with multiple camera views, providing a variety of perspectives of itself and the surrounding terrain. These camera feeds are shown in a graphical user interface along with maps of the environment for operator use. To collect objects, Daedalus features a 5 degree of freedom manipulator with a horizontal rail. The manipulator's 4 bar mechanism minimizes motor torque requirements, allowing it to lift up to 10 kilograms of mass. The lead screw driven gripper is able to grasp items up to 15 centimeters wide. Icarus, a commercial drone, assists Daedalus in the delivery mission by searching large areas for points of interest and obstacles. To complete the equipment servicing mission, a solenoid is added to the manipulator to press buttons and keys. The arm's linear rail allows the manipulator to easily move on the plane of each lander face. Roll and pitch control of the wrist facilitates precise manipulation while force sensors in the gripper allow operators to receive feedback when handling objects. To autonomously type on a keyboard, the arm moves to a predefined joint state from which a custom trained YOLO model detects individual key positions in the image. Positional error is calculated and translated to joint velocities via a Jacobian matrix. For the autonomous navigation mission, Daedalus feeds user input and USGS elevation data into an A-star planner to generate a web of possible paths. It follows the best route through this web using GPS, IMU, and LIDAR. If it detects a dangerous slope or non-traversable path, Daedalus reflexively stops, backtracks to the last branch, and follows the next best route. Once in the vicinity of a point of interest, Daedalus generates search points using a Gaussian probability distribution. As it explores, probability is shifted from searched to unsearched areas. It detects Aruka markers and other objects with custom-trained YOLO models. Once an object is found, Daedalus navigates to it, signals arrival, and waits for the next one. During the science mission, Daedalus uses two extendable rotating scoops to collect samples from the soil surface. These samples are mixed with isopropyl alcohol and the resulting solution is pumped back into the payload for analysis. A visible wavelength microspectrometer collects the absorbent spectrum of the isopropyl mixture and the data is displayed to operators in a graphical user interface. Conclusions on the presence of life at the site are drawn by comparing this collected spectrum to a growing database of organic spectra. Bayer's reagent is then added to the sample, and changes to the solution's color are observed both visually and through the spectrometer. Decolorizing of the purple reagent and the formation of a brown precipitate indicates the presence of molecules with alkene or alkyne functional groups and consequently extant life. Daedalus's science package also includes a subsurface collection assembly. A drill lowers to bore a hole up to 15 centimeters into the ground, where a chamber collects a soil sample in an easily removable, self-sealing cache. An extendable sensor probe measures both temperature and moisture at this depth. A special thanks to all of our sponsors for their support. Team Mountaineers can't wait to compete at University Rover Challenge 2025.